All right, if you didn't think kits were enough, you didn't think enchantment tables were enough, or if you didn't even think mechanics were enough, we now have a new altar system inside of Bed Wars, and I have not used any of these new altars. So hopefully in today's video, we can actually figure out which blessing is the best. Let me know down in the comments, which blessing do you guys think is the best? But we need to go get the iron error, and I don't think my team's gonna do that. Oh, he just canceled his home teleport. No, he's just gonna run away with the diamonds. Well, we're just gonna chase him down then. And you know what? We may as well improve our iron generator speed by getting the bed plate in while we're here. That's just what happens when you make me chase everywhere. All right, let's just kill him and get a couple of stacks. All right, there we go. We have enough to go buy the iron error, just like that. And now we need another four diamonds to lock the altar itself. So yeah, there's me thinking that kids, enchantment tables, and mechanics were enough. But no, there's just so much to worry about in a Bed Wars match now. Like getting diamonds as a solo player isn't already enough. I don't want this guy breaking their bed, so we need to take him out. They need to really put a bed defense before he gets broken. And this instant enchantment's kind of helping us out here. I think we got lucky with Crit Strike 1, to be honest. This guy's collecting all of the emeralds. He's going to come over here. We'll cut him off. Looks like he's only got one dash left. And he's dead. We've now got a tier 2 seahorse. Extra heals and extra damage. You can't really complain. All right, now since the diamond gods are in, let's go ahead and get this one over here. All right, let's go ahead and buy the altar. And let's just go with the first one. Wait, where is it? All right, we're just going to go with Ari's favor. Stacking damage buff. Sounds fair enough to me. I haven't really played much of the season, so I'm still kind of adjusting to the new system because I was on vacation. So I'm still getting used to all of the mechanics and errors and unlocking things. It's very different from last season, so we still need to get used to it. It's him down. No way, I just built above him. We've caught ourselves there, and he's uh, he took full damage there, hasn't he? We have two minutes to waste, so we're just going to hold down mid, collect some M's, and just get some stacks. And this guy's just going to keep feeding me, look. Okay, that works too. I think he misjudged that jump a little bit. Let's give this guy the little one tap. He's just gonna run. Don't blame him, to be honest. Everyone is just running away from me. Can't be bothered just chasing down players. My bed's about to be destroyed, teammates. Yeah, never mind then. You just sit in the generator because that's what's more important. All of his beehives have got broken. That's just what happens. Oh, yeah, we can buy the next error. I just need one more emerald. I can get diamond armor. Now we can get the guardians from over here. Blue team have broke every single bed, so don't be complaining when you're getting spawn killed because you're the last team alive. What a play. What a play. All right, so we're getting 5% per stack. And now how much is the next altar? Okay, never mind. We still need 22 more diamonds. Yep. It seems like diamonds in economy has been more important than ever in bed wars. It's quite tough getting all those diamonds because your team just doesn't bother. And now we're in a 1v4 situation against blue team because they broke every single bed. One bow into the void and it's all over for me. Can they Can they do it? You know, that is the question. Are they able to pull off this 1v4? This is why I enjoy squad so much. I just enjoy having these situations. But what I don't enjoy having is absolutely no diamonds. So I'm just going to get an enchantment while we wait. Let's just get this guy down from our base. I mean, I young some diamonds out of it. Took full damage with Yuzi. The only problem being one fireball and I'm in the void. And as you guys can see... That is their plan. We just get a Tesla coil down, because why not? You know, for a squad that could break every single bed in the entire lobby, they need to work on their communication skills here. They're just rushing in one by one, just getting slain. Perfect amount to go get the Emerald Error. All right, we still need to get another 16 diamonds. I don't know what's going on, but something's going on. Oh, yeah, here comes the, the four-man push. Not quite, because he ran away. <laughs> Why wouldn't they all just jump in at the same time, though? What is the play here? You go around and break every single bed completely fine, but once they get something that can move... Oh, they're struggling now. I guess I'll just keep focused on getting diamonds so we can get the tier 3 altar. And this guy in the chat is claiming to be me. And what are the chances that he's actually against me? I'm not being bowed in the void, thank you very much. Boom. Max altar giving us 8% per stack. Where is, where is Tanker Aimbotter? Come on. There's the bed gone. You know, might as well finish the match since we got the full altar anyways. Where's Tanker Aimbot? I don't even know what which one it is. GG's. <laughs> yeah, I glued him so he couldn't dash away. I'll be taking this. And I think that's GG. Yeah. Yo, the seahorse just chills on the train. 
And that was a nice casual 1v4 and a good way to test out the Ari's blessing. Let's move on to the next one. I've noticed this season's solo squads plays have been nerfed heavily. Like I used to be able to just capture the first generator, go back to base, and that'll be an instant tier one. And I, and I can't go the other side because there's already a player over there. So I've just got to sit here for 20 seconds. So automatically, I'm going to lose a whole a minute and a half of the match from just getting the eye and error. But I chose the solo squad's life, so we just have to deal with it. I just hold down mid and get some stacks. He's going to glide away. Goodbye. No way you missed the lassie on him. You could have got him right there. I think this guy's actually going to get away with the diamonds here. Oh, never mind. He knows it's over for him. He can glide away all he wants. I just want the guardian, to be honest. Uh, there's two players just chilling in my base. All right, it happens. All right, let's get the one. You can personal chest all the iron all you want. Turns out all of my teammates left the match as well. He's going to actually get this guardian, isn't he? He's going to get it. He's going to try and bow me. He just slowed himself down from getting the Guardian and I've stolen it from him. That didn't turn out to be a good decision, did it? Look at all these guys. Look at them all just sitting outside my base. 3v1 time. This should be fun. There's two of them smacked into the void. The last guy just ran away. If I was them, I would be mad, bro. How are you going to run away in a 3v1? What are you thinking? You're the jug, mate. I don't know what this guy's up to. Is this guy going for my bed? Like, what, what does he want exactly? What, what does he gain out of this situation? Wait, what? How did he just disappear? Huh? What was that? How did he do that? I don't even know what the kit is. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, maybe it's that one new kit. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. I don't even use the season 10 kit, so I just forget what they do. And he's at my base. As soon as I leave my base, my bed gets destroyed. Oh, classic. He's Milo. Okay, I forgot about that kit also. Now he's dead. He didn't know. He didn't really have a plan there, did he? I thought he was that new sticks kit, but it turns out he's just Milo kit. He actually got the bed out of it, so well played, I guess. I guess we're in another clutch situation, though, so that's fun. I gotta be careful with this Milo, though, because he could be anywhere and just bow me in the void as soon as I cross that bridge. And we need to also get diamonds to upgrade our altar. Cut, cut his friend off from behind. I wasn't worried about it. I knew I'd catch myself. Please don't suffocate. There's one both in the void. <laughs> oh, and they gave me the diamonds. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I'll play and get the diamonds. Look at that. And come back to a nice base of juicy ores. Giving us even more loot. We've now got tier 2, 20% reflect. No idea what that means, to be honest. Uh, is it higher defense? I don't know. But we definitely have the heal build, that's for sure. No way he stole my kill there. Please don't run. And then he blew himself up. Technically, that was smart on his behalf for not giving me the stack, but he definitely did not mean it. All right, 2v1, bring it on. I'm just going to stand still. I'm literally just going to stand still. I'm not even trolling. I can't even see what's going on. I'm just standing still. <laughs> they both got to one health and four. Yeah, this is probably a bad idea. What is he doing? God, you really don't give up, huh? You really don't give up, huh? None of you give up, it seems like. I'm actually kind of invincible at the moment, to be honest. I just want to go back and get guardians, but they'll just keep stopping me from teleporting. Just give it a break, will you? Give it a rest. Okay, finally. The only thing I'm trying to do is just get the tier 3 altar and I can call it a day. Boom. Oh, yeah, we've got it maxed out. We're getting 30% more reflect now. That should be an easy enough bed break right there. Take the diamonds. GG. Oh, I'll, I'll let him run away if he wants to. I don't think he's trying to run away. Is he trying to run away? Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh. Y you might want to run away. Have you ever thought about trying to run away or not? No, he's just going to keep swinging towards me. Wait, is it like fawns? Where if they do damage to me, it does damage to them? I think that's what it is. I don't know why I was thinking it was lifesteal. I don't think that's what it is. It looks like fawns where if they do damage to me, it reflects back to them. I think that makes more sense now. All right, well, we are in. And now we've got the bed break. And now we are out. Look at this. What am I looking at, bro? This game never... This game just never surprises me. Like, what am I looking at right now? What is this? <laughs> How is this a thing? Bro, I'm basically invincible. This is crazy. Wow. Wow. I mean, that went a lot better than the last one. Oh, people just rushing our base. Okay. Go for it, then. Let's do it. All right, let's rush my, rush my base then, guys. Come on, let's go. Come on, if you're gonna rush my base, rush it. Come on. If you're gonna rush my base, do it properly. There's one in the void. You have less health than me, Hanukkah. Oh, they're back at my base, are they? 
I knew I was gonna get knocked off there. Hello. Into the void. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of beekeepers and hannas. So I'm gonna guess that both of them are free this week. This is split or steal, and I'm choosing to steal. Let's cut this guy off into the void. Ready? Whee! I'll put back the block. I'm just getting the bed plate in. Stay out of combat for five seconds for extra speed. Sounds good enough to me. Oh, yeah. I got the extra speed. I got the extra speed. Now we can speed around and get all the loot. Trinity. Okay. Oh, he's actually doing so much damage to me. What the heck? That's actually... Trinity seems actually quite overpowered there. Hold up a minute. He's doing so much damage. Trinity seems kind of busted. He just wasn't dying for a while there. Oh, they're about to go break their bed. Let's, let's stop this real quick. Stop this bed break. I've been trapped in. Perfect. I mean, that's better than the bed getting broken, to be honest. Okay, bad idea. Bed has been destroyed. I mean, anytime I leave my base, it's going to get destroyed. It's just what happens every time. All right, we're going to end up being in another clutch situation with no bed once again for the third time in a row. He's trying to last me in the void, but I'm not allowing it to happen. Hey! Hey, they should have just sent it, to be honest. They had nothing to lose, and I have no bed. So with all the lassies. Seems like lassie kit is free as well. If they get a good shot, they can just pull me in the void, and it's GG. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm trying to thicken up all my walls so I don't get yoinked in the void. Oh, this Trinity guy is, like, sweating very, very hard. But not hard enough. GG. All right. I just want to get the max ulta so I can move on to the next one. Come on then, let's fight. Let's do it. Yo, he's got smacked in the void. This Trinity guy's back again. How'd that work out for you? See if we can go buy a couple pearls for the end of the match. Just in case we get knocked off by a fireball, you never know. I did not play out this entire match just to lose and for my teammates to leave the game. All right. Oh yeah, he's got Lassie as well. So I've got to be careful, Lassie boy. Oh, Lassie boy is down into the void. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Hello. Oh, you're low. Oh, no. You're dead. Oh, there's one more over here. What is he doing? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> what were they doing, me? Oh, so I have reach. I have knockback hacks. So, yeah, there's still two other favors, but they don't sound anywhere near as good. So, yeah, I can't be bothered using them.